Guys, uh, just showing something here. Um, this hose, this is a, about a dollar a foot. <clears throat> it is, it's uh, made for ponds. It's got, actually it has a direction for the flow. I don't know why it says that, but thankfully I'm going in the right direction. But uh, I made a modification here so that uh, this... We'll step it down so that this fits in this perfect. Uh, this is a 5 8 hose and this, I've, I've got this on here really tight. It's not going anywhere. But the, originally I tried to uh, just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get the cheapest thing I could find and, and, and bragged about all the money I saved. And uh, the point I'm getting at is, look, see all these kinks? Uh, probably had it three months. And when I unwind it, I get all these kinks, which kills the flow rate. So, and speaking of flow rate, the Python, uh, it's noticeable how less uh, of an amount of water it will put out compared to the Aquion. So I'm still thinking I might stick with the Aquion and just try to solve the issue of getting into the, um, screwing into the sink. So we'll see. Uh, one other thing that I had happen that was really weird is I got uh, the Eheim. Uh, I'm just trying to even think how to go here. The Eheim makes the best automatic food feeder. And I actually, uh, one thing I will tell you really quick is if you have pellet that is this small. See the size on that pellet? It's 0.5 millimeter. If you put that in an automatic food feeder, it will, uh, as it turns over, it will come out of there like uh, sand in an hourglass. So uh, I'm on my second water change of the night and I literally had New Life Spectrum pellets uh, snowing and about, I don't know, it was completely covered over in here. So uh, so then I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna, not going to go New Line Spectrum. So I went to Flake, and then uh, I mounted it here uh, and tried to mount it on this cross beam and secure it with a wire tie. Tested it, and it fell into the tank. So uh, that was uh, Tetra Flake into the tank, fully saturated, pull it out, pour in water. Uh, we'll see if the um, automatic food feeder makes it. Uh, I feel like, um, I just want to, just a disclaimer there, I haven't had any alcohol yet. Uh, I'm probably going to need some later, but right now I haven't had any. <laughs> and so the scenario is I'm just trying to uh, get it automated you know, so pretty soon I can take a few days off and uh, it's not going too well. So anyway, I just did a water change. I'm getting ready to do another water change. When you have uh, excess food nutrients going to your tank like that, it totally throws it out of balance. Um, the concern that I'm going to have is I'm going to get an algae bloom in this tank. So I'm going to have to really uh, get aggressive on water changes on it. And uh, I'm on my second water change for the night, and I'll probably do a really big one uh, tomorrow morning. And we'll see how it goes. So, but anyway, uh, you always learn stuff. Um, it's funny, the U.S. Opens this week for you golf fans, and I don't care how good a golfer you are and how many majors you have, you can still put a golf ball in the water. Um, I'm definitely not, you know, a pro at anything. Uh, even my day job, I, I have questions, but, but anyway, uh, that's probably about the worst thing you can do is put a can of food in your fish tank or, or weigh excess. Um, and we'll see how I recover. So you guys, uh, stay tuned and we'll see where this goes. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a good day, but nothing against Eheim. I think they make a good, uh, automatic, uh, feeder. I, I didn't, my, my whole problem is if the way my tank set up, this nozzle has big flow and I don't want the food to drop on the back wall 
and go straight to the intake. I wanted it to come right here and then the water you know, is going to take it back. It's going to circulate. So this is going to, I've got a current going this way on the front and then it circles and then it also kind of comes back and circles in over to that nozzle and then back on the back wall. But anyway, I was trying to get it so that you know, I have the glass caps and everything that hang in here and I was just trying to get the pellet to fall and uh, didn't work. Didn't work. Not really good. Um, that's it. That's it. We'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned and uh, hopefully I'll figure this out. Um, I do like the Python. It's higher quality. Uh, it, it does take, it's considerably slower to refill this tank. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I think I should just figure out a way to make my own and freaking post it on YouTube and a, a do it yourself because you, you would think somebody would figure that out. Um, all right. Well, hey, you guys take care. Thanks for watching and uh, wish me luck. Uh, I may, uh, may need to be, I may need, I don't know what I'm going to need. Probably buy some snails. Uh, who knows? But yeah. The tank is no longer in balance. It's uh, it's unbalanced at the moment. So we'll see how I do later.